Yes, please. Hello, good morning, fellow Toastmasters and guests. I'm Pragash and will be, the, will be the sergeant at AMS for today's meeting. This is Technobar Toastmasters 48th meeting. It is a collaborative meeting with, with the UST Toastmasters as well. Since uh, there are no guests, I'll uh, skip those part, the introduction part about Toastmasters and I'll get into the rules. There are some ground rules which we need to follow during the meeting. Let us not talk about uh, politics, sex, and religion. Let us mute ourselves if we are not speaking, and uh, let us also not cross talk. With that, let us get into the meeting. Today, our uh, president is not uh, here. So I am inviting the VP membership of UST Toastmasters to do the honors. Toastmaster Jen, the stage is yours. Thank you so much uh, and a very warm welcome to everyone who have joined and taken time to join this meeting. The, the theme of the meeting, great things never come in your comfort zones. So I recently uh, saw a joke where uh, one person is uh, suggesting the other person that you should come out of your comfort zone, only then you will learn. But that person said, replies that I am never in my comfort zone. Everywhere I am under stress. So it could be the reason because of the pandemic and all this that we have gone through, uh, a lot of change has happened. And because of that, you know, you might be under stress, you might be feeling comfortable that, okay, I, my career, my personal life is going well, I am fine where I am. Uh, but if you just uh, have a little bit of courage, a little bit of push to the, to the, uh, to the uh, zone outside your comfort, you will see there are a lot of people who are going through your same problems, who are going through the same learning path, same learning curves, uh, who are trying to make the world better. So you can connect with them, improve yourself, and also improve or help others improve. And together form a kind of a symbiosis relationship and you can grow together. So this venture, this Toastmaster is the perfect environment for that. And I'm glad that uh, UST Trivandrum Toastmaster Club gets a chance to team up with the Technopark Toastmasters and uh, I always enjoy the, the direct face-to-face -face meetings. Uh, I met Deepthi during the last uh, contest and we were so happy to see a lot of people after two years. Uh, so I wish that uh, we could mo have more you know, offline meetings in the future. Uh, with that, I would uh, ask everyone to, although we are in a learning session, uh, keep the fun in mind. It's not serious, it's very fun. So take your time, whatever, uh, you know, just absorb whatever you get uh, during the session. And of course, you have veterans uh, like me, Prakash, Deepthi, everyone here to guide you. Uh, over to you, Prakash. Thank you, Toastmaster Jayant. Uh, now, let us uh, get into the business. The person for today's meeting is Toastmaster Smitha. Toastmaster Smitha is the director of customer success at Safin Labs. And recently, she won a hackathon conducted by Finastra about uh, finance, uh, financial inclusion in the unorganized sector. So let us congratulate her first for uh, getting that award. And with that, let me invite those master Smitha to take over us through a really good speech Still, I remember her first icebreaker speech here. I, I remember the title as well, The Road to Damascus. I don't even remember my speeches, but uh, that was one beautiful speech that she has given, how she stood against bullying. And she's one person who has good, rich vocabulary. So I am inviting Toastmaster Smitha to take over the stage. The stage is yours, Toastmaster Smitha. Thank you. Thank you, Sergeant at Arms TM Prakash for the wonderful introduction. Honored to get all the uh, appreciations. It is my pleasure today to be the Toastmaster of the day for our meeting number 48. And I take this opportunity to welcome each and every one of you, uh, both Toastmasters and the guests for today's meeting. I would like to start by quickly explaining the structure of our meeting. 
uh, meeting is divided into three parts, as we all know. First, we have a prepared speech. Second part of the session is the table topics round, uh, where members can practice uh, thinking and speaking on their feet. Uh, this is the impromptu speech section. Uh, we also welcome our guests to participate in this round. The third and final part is the evaluation round in which the prepared speeches and the impromptu speeches and all other meetings uh, aspects of the session uh, will be evaluated by the general evaluator and the team. Let me now take the time to introduce a the theme of the day, which we all know it's great things never come out of the comfort zones. Each of us settle into what we call our comfort zone and we create routines in our daily lives in which we feel at ease. A set of activities that we are good at, a group of people who we feel the most comfortable with. Most of us structure our lives to a point that we can almost predict what will happen from one day to the next. Somehow, uh, this pro provides a deep sense of security and well-being. We even go to lengths to avoid situations like this, um, lengths to avoid situations that can be uh, potentially risky or even stretch our abilities. Food for thought here. Does this make us feel special? Do we really want to continue this um, things that we've been doing for quite some time? Isn't this making our lives stagnant, monotonous? And how do we change it? Who can change it? It's just us. Only we can change it. Be it applying for a new job that you've always dreamt of and was wishing for, asking your manager for a race at work, even offering to mentor those new employees who are freshers right out of college. After meeting quite a lot of people virtually at work, why don't we start a conversation with someone at work who you never even said a hi to? All these require us to overcome our fears of rejection, embarrassment, and when we successfully navigate through this, the resulting bliss is worth savoring. I now would like to take a few minutes to share my experience coming out of my comfort zone, which uh, TM Prakash already mentioned, um, the experience that I'm gonna share with you and uh, where I came out of my comfort zone that was built over the past few years, especially the last two years of pandemic. Hectic work schedule, household chores and workouts thrice a week. This was pretty much my schedule every weekday and watching few movies added to this when it was the weekend. Was I comfortable? Yes, I was quite comfortable. Was there anxiety and fear of missing out? Yes, big time. Was I willing to do anything about it? No. The thought of failure, rejection, and again, embarrassment stopped me from attempting anything different. And the desire to do something that could bring me more recognition was gnawing at me. Uh, while I started discussing this with a friend of mine, who's also a fellow Toastmaster, the idea of participating in a hackathon came up. The challenge of coming up with an original and innovative idea and having to compete with about 200 plus mem team members from 45 different countries in the financial domain was quite intimidating for me. Imagining being a winner was an exciting thought. However, it seemed quite out of reach for me. Mustering a lot of courage, I decided to give it a best shot, come what may. And assembling the team from different companies who we have never met with or talked to, it was quite challenging, but a lot of fun. As we met over the weekends to discuss the ideas, it gave us all a lot of confidence simply to be brainstorming with some very smart people and thinking from their perspective as well. As we finalized the idea, the confidence only improved day in and day out. Instead of looking at the final goal of winning, we decided to take it step by step and focus on just participating, but at the same time, leave no, sto no stones unturned with respect to effort, hard work, sincerity, and whatnot. And finally, the news came to us that we were chosen as one of the finalists among the 10 teams. And finally, after the fi uh, final round of uh, question answer session and presenting of the ideas, we emerged as one of the broad, uh, bronze winners. For most of us, this was the first ever hackathon, but the most memorable one. But above all, the confidence it gave each of us was beyond words. 
Keeping this experience in mind, I would like to reinforce again the, the need to challenge oneself and come out of the com comfort zone. I would say take one step at a time, however small it is, leave your comfort zone and enter your growth zone. With this thought, I would like to move on to the next part of our meeting. As the TMOD, it is my duty to introduce the role bearers who will assist me in running today's uh, session. And I first invite our general evaluator to explain the evaluation process and the tag team who will be supporting her. The general evaluator for the day is none other than our Toastmaster, Deepti, who needs no introduction, a public speaking enthusiast, a big time foodie, and also our VP of membership for the Technopath Toastmaster Club. True to the officer role she holds, she's a great person to spend time with. Over to you, Toastmaster Deepti. Thank you so much, uh, Smita, for that beautiful introduction. Uh, quite an interesting, intriguing topic today you have brought to us, all of us. Uh, just like that sentence says, great things never came from comfort zone. Absolutely right. How, uh, how many times we have gone through those painful activities, but had been fruitful in the end and was so happy that we did that activity and we came out successful, be it a small cooking, be it doing some small chore or a, being a big uh, shot manager. But let me just take up my role for the day and uh, explain the details of the role. So as uh, Smita introduced, I am the general evaluator for the day and my responsibility is to evaluate everything that happens during the meeting and report them. In addition to that, the general evaluator conducts the evaluation portion of the meeting for which I have a special team called as the tag team or the, uh, the timer, our counter and grammarian. Now, the beauty of today's session is that my team, I have three members who are from three different clubs joining us, uh, making it a beautiful collaboration. So let me introduce each role. She is elegant, fierce, and sporty, a, a classical dancer and a beginner in traditional martial arts. Also loves spending time with friends and family. So let me welcome Toastmaster Abnea Intra from h and Block Toastmaster Club to explain her role as the timer today. Over uh, to thank, you. Thank you, Toastmaster Deepthi. Uh, I loved that introduction. <laughs> Yes. So, hi team. I am the timer of today's sessions. My responsibility is to keep track of all the time taken by each speeches, including icebreaker speech, prepared speech, and each table topic speech. And at the final, uh, uh, when when general evaluator calls out, uh, I will be giving my report. And uh, as a demo, I will just share the timer cards. Yes, so this is the uh, blue card, which, will, which I will be displaying when uh, the speech begins. And the green card uh, refers uh, that speeches uh, reach the correct uh, or the required time. And the yellow card refers that the speech has uh, uh, exceeded the rec required time or it is within the limit. And this red card displays when the required speech time has ended and we will be giving a race of 30 seconds and i will just give you the timing details of each speeches so uh, for an icebreaker speech a person can take from four to six minutes at the beginning of this speech i will be displaying blue card and by fourth minute i will be displaying green card and by fifth minute it will be yellow and by sixth minute it will be red and a 30 second grace time will be given to the speaker and for table topics we will be giving one to two minutes a person can take one to two minutes at the beginning of the speech a person can take blue that i will be displaying blue card and by the one minute a green card will be displayed and at one minute 30 seconds it will be yellow card at finally i will be displaying red card at two minutes and a 30 second grace time will be given. 
and for evaluation total time is two to three minutes and initially i will be displaying blue card two minutes uh, i will be displaying green card at two minutes and yellow card at two minutes 30 seconds finally red card at 30 minutes and at 30 seconds grace time will be given thank you over to the general evaluator thank you, thank you so much uh, for explaining in detail each of the timings okay uh, jayant you have something uh, yes uh, the timer is sharing the screen so that time the uh, it will fill up the screen, uh, the center of our screen, and it will take away the attention from the the speaker. Yes. So, can we have the timer at least put in chat or or uh, display change the background if possible? Oh, yeah, I will figure out that soon. <laughs> and uh, uh, actually, uh, if you can... have any 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 objects, yeah, if you have any objects, color, you can show that. I'll spotlight screen you. And okay so uh, while sharing and spotlighting will that make uh, the speaker to be uh, spotlighted while i'm sharing is it possible or both should be spotlighted at the same time okay. or both should be pinned by everyone okay, okay i will just uh, show objects uh, yeah that would be good, in yeah. that class. yeah i don't uh, actually i thought this would work out so I'm just search of objects. No, I, I understand, but it will take away the, the attention from the table. So it's fine for red, right? Yeah, yeah, that's yes. fine. You can just show. The it's button. fine for yellow. Yeah. Okay. I'm searching for blue and other stuff. Yeah. Blue I is not, yeah. Green, yeah, I green is enough. Green, yellow, and red is enough. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and you can just show it very close to your, uh, you know, uh, your uh, camera so that it is clearly visible. So that way you can do it. It's fine for green, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank yes, you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, now let's move on to the next role. Um, she is a music lover and an extrovert. She enjoys talking. But when she uh, makes her, uh, what makes her completely different is her passion for talking correctly. So let me welcome Toastmaster Veena Kumari from UST Toastmaster Club to explain her role as our counter. Over to you, Veena. Thank you, Toastmaster Dipti. Such a lovely, captivating introduction. I loved it. So yes, uh, good morning everyone and uh, today I will be playing a role of a counter in this session where I will be observing in your conversation the overused word fillers, crutch words, which I can say uh, examples are a, uh, um, er, well, and, like. So these are the repeated word or crutch, crutch word I will be observing and I will report in the end of the session. Thank you, Dipti. Thank you. Thank you, Veena. Now, we have a new, elegant, passionate Toastmaster who is currently working from Vaisag, but uh, she works in Geetham University as Director LND. So, let me welcome Toastmaster Chitra to explain her role as a grammarian and, so, and also to introduce to all of us the, today's word of the day. Over to you. Thank you, Deepti. That's a wonderful introduction. Okay, uh, good morning, everyone. Um, and, uh, you know, I am Chitra. So today, um, as a grammarian, my role is to help you to identify or uh, to, uh, you know, bring uh, listening carefully to your language usage and uh, help you with your improper usage, as well as any outstanding words, or sayings, or thoughts, I will mark it. Okay, and uh, it is my duty to introduce new words, uh, new words, I'm sorry, new word of the day. And the word I have chosen is ebullient. I will just show you. Uh, I have a small presentation. I can share, right? Yes. Are you able to share? Yeah. Yes. So, is it visible? Next slide. Visible. Or, yeah. Maybe you can just uh, put it in. Yes, I will just go to the full scale mode. Yes, this is the word of the day. 
and yesterday uh, has shared another word but I, i hope that you people got enough time to practice this word my apologies because you know i give you very little bit of time for you to prepare use this word so the word is it's an uh, adjective the meaning of this word is cheerful and full of energy it is pronounced as a bu liant okay it's a slow pronunciation if you say the b is given more importance so when you think about a person who is cheerful and full of energy we have many people in front of us i could see that veena deepthi smita everybody is so i'm not that uh, you know cheerfully cheerful person generally i have turned to be a very reserved person okay so that is a simple word to say i'm not an a brilliant person okay and uh, the synonymous is bubbly high spirited deeper so definitely we know this kind of people and you do meet many people in our school college days right of course in our office work environment also we would have met many people right so when we think about this word is there any particular person coming to your mind the a brilliant person in your office or life somebody has changed your uh, life or uh, give you that energy or when they enter to the room they will bring that energy how can you can anyone just say ebullient yes no not the word a person can you remember that person that he or she is that ebullient uh if many of you might not know but in hnr we have a member called srija shashidhar she is always ebullient ambitious and my enemy i would say because she is so energetic and so ambitious correct okay, correct okay. so in my life i felt say my previous manager is that ebullient person because you know i generally am a, a you know termed termed as a, nerdy or a reserved person but my office was in gurgaon you can imagine how the people will be most of the the office is with this punjabis high energy people and i was one among them but he has given me this three f's okay which is fun food and fit so that is most important for you so that you will be a brilliant because the point you know i was always an invisible invisibly visible person in the office so that's what i remember you know when i took this word i remember that person and this particular uh, situation so today we are talking about or uh, you know today's topic is about you know coming out of the comfort zone so when i think about coming out of comfort zone i will say i aspire to be an abilient person okay this is about the word today and i will be recording the usage of this word uh you know in your speeches also any new phrases or uh, idioms or uh, you know usages you are bringing i'll be marking marking it and if there is any inappropriate usage of words i will be uh, you know marking it back to and towards the end of the session definitely i'll be sharing the report thank you thank you so much chitra i uh, you, you know you can just uh, put this in the chat as well so that everybody can get the details sure. thank you uh, thank you so much uh, so uh, so that's it uh, from me and my tag team so let us all slip in the background and start making our notes uh, throughout the session we will come back with our evaluation reports now when called upon thank you over to you smita Thank you, Toastmaster Deepthi, for the introduction of your tag team. And uh, now let us move on to the next session uh, of today's meeting, which is the prepared speech. Uh, we all know that uh, the prepared speeches are where each of us Toastmasters practice the performance and the delivery of the speech in front of an audience. Today's speaker is uh, Toastmaster Shalini from UST. Shalini loves cricket and singing. Also, a huge fan of RCB. and a fitness freak she will be giving her ice breaker speech today and the title for the speech is my journey the evaluator for shalini's speech is uh, toastmaster jayant who is also from ust toastmaster club a nerd a foolishly romantic at heart grew up in mumbai suburbs and he believes himself to be the best of many worlds 
He's always known for his humorous, witty, philosophical, and mo motivational speeches. He also loves books, music, and movies. I now would invite TM Jain to share the objectives of the speech. Over to you, TM Jain. Thank you, Toshmaster Smita, for that lovely introduction. Today, Toastmaster Shalini is attempting her icebreaker speech, the first speech in Toastmaster's education program. And the purpose of the speech is to introduce themselves to the club and learn about the basic structure of a speech. The member may refer to uh, written notes. It's perfectly, and the time, uh, time is four to six minutes. And uh, the goal of the evaluation would be to, to give uh, evaluation on the member's confidence, their, their speech and delivery style. Uh, because uh, it is the first uh, speech, there won't be any numerical evaluation, it's just a basic evaluation on their delivery and confidence. Uh, with that, I wish all the best for Toastmaster Shalini. Uh, back to you, Kimodi. Thank you. Now I would request Toastmaster Shalini to give her icebreaker speech. Oh. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Toastmaster uh, Deepti. So uh, good morning, fellow Toastmasters and guests. And today I will be giving my high speaker speech. Uh, for, uh, that's, that gives me a chance to introduce myself. For most of you who don't know me, my name is Shalini. And the reason why I'm here today is I'm, I'm hopeful that this particular experience will make me a better person tomorrow. I wanted to start this speech by giving a childhood uh, by giving a childhood story that showcased the pivotal event describing the time the person I was growing up to be. Most people experience their character defining moment when they undergo a lot of rejection or failure and when they put in a lot of efforts for something they wanted to achieve too. And that is how I wanted to start this speech. As the famous singer Mick Jacker said, you can't always get what you want. But if you try sometimes, you may find what you need. So after all this brainstorming and going through all the memories and moments of my life, I was thumped. I could not think of any particular thing that I could not think of any particular thing that really stood out or really bothered me or really took interest out of me. So why can't I think of any particular any particular thing that is special to share? After asking myself this question, that's when I realized my what my biggest disappointment was and is for today. The truth is, I never passionately pursued anything wholeheartedly before. I was, kind of, I was kind of a person who did what was expected to do. I, ne I never really cared more than that until not too long ago. Growing up by mother from the rural background, I was reminded how privileged I was to be able to be brought up in a Silicon City. I was able to go to school and after it and life was so easy for me. So once I passed from my school, I would I would go to my high school. So once I finished high school, I would go to college. And once I finished college, I would get a job. Bam. My life was all set. I I don't know how much I actually actually believed but somehow that's how I interpreted my life for most of my life I was just waiting for, for most of my life I was just waiting for the moment one day far future after completing all my prerequisites to start seriously living and enjoying life I thought automatically I would get a good job I would be good at my job and just be happy but that's not exactly how life goes. And that's not exactly how life went for me. I have noticed after finishing out my college, I noticed I faced difficulties in my personal and professional life. I would like to point few as well. 
I noticed that I was lacking social skills and was uh, which is which is most needed when trying to talk to a different type of, uh, type of people and build relation. I never really did things out of a billion. Since my current role and the fact that I was in a competitive environment, that was not enough. Uh, that was not the thing that was needed. This reminds me a saying from a uh, saying from Matthew Hussey. The pain of rejection is nothing when compared to the pain of failure. What this particular quote means to me and people like me is even though you are a late bloomer, it's not late to start your work. I wanted to I I wanted to be a uh, I wanted to improve my social skills I wanted to take on more initiatives and I want to overcome challenge by I want to overcome challenge and grow myself up I want and I decided I'm going to be the expert in my field helping the people, helping the people and my business find the solutions. Even if I don't reach there, I never forgive myself that I didn't try. I will end this quote saying, there is no set moment in your life that defines you. Every moment is a chance to change your life for the better or worse. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Shalini. A great thought-provoking speech, I would say, and a great journey indeed. Let us now move on to the next session, the much-awaited session of the day, which is the impromptu speeches or the table topics. To provide us with the challenge for today's table topics round, we have the table topics master, Toastmaster Bhavna, who will be conducting the session. An abelian personality, as we all know, Bhavna is an artist by design, a science graduate by accident, a communication specialist by evolution, and now she carries a dream to be called an innovator. Bhavna manages the internal communications and branding of IBS software. Thank you, Toastmaster Bhavna, and over for being the Table Topics Master, and over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Smitha, the ever so ebullient person I have befriended while in IBS and uh, continuing so after so many years, even after you have left IBS. Good morning, fellow Toastmasters and friends. Most people stay in their comfort zones for fear of rejection. I heard it from Smitha, I heard it from Shalini now. And I just wanted to uh, talk about this. I recently read an article which had many tips on how to overcome the fear of rejection. And one interesting thing that I found over there is uh, someone has said, uh, ask for money from random people. You know, just go onto the street and ask money from random people. Experience rejection. Do it over and over again. And then you will let go of the fear of rejection and overcome it in some point in time. So I thought that is something that you would, you know, give you uh, not so good time doing that to overcome rejection. Anyway, the purpose of the Topics Master, as most of you know, is to facilitate table topics where members of the audience will have the opportunity to practice their impromptu speaking. I have a deck in each of the slides. I have two pictures and a statement. You have to read the statement and pick the picture that best suits you or you are aligned to. If you are lucky, you get to stay in your comfort zone and speak on something close to your heart. If you're luckier, you get to step out of your comfort zone and get to convince others of something you are not convinced about. So, and that will help you spruce your speaking skills, I would say, when you're not out of your comfort zone and you're trying out something. So give it a try, shall we? I'll just share my screen. Would you all prefer me to call your name out or would I have volunteers? So you have to read the statement, look at the pictures, 
make a selection and i'll tell you whether you have to speak in your comfort zone or out of your comfort zone so may i have a volunteer please jent yes to sanjay baba what's your pick oh i have to choose between those two images yes okay i was thinking of her person okay my best friend a cat or a dog thank you for the topic those must be bauna a very good morning to everyone you have to pick one oh i have to pick okay yeah and i will tell you what you have to speak on whether you have to speak for your best okay. friend or against your best friend sorry i will choose a cat okay but you get to speak for your best friend so convince your friend why it is best to keep a cat at home and not a dog good morning everyone thank you for that wonderful topic on why i should convince my best friend to have a cat at home when i saw best friend immediately my wife came to my mind uh, and to be honest this is a regular conversation that i'm trying to have and i'm trying to convince her that i we need a cat at home uh, i do have a lot of stray cats around my house and i try to feed them uh, but the more you feed a cat the more it tries to snuggle up and uh, come closer to the house and it never leaves uh, so i tell my wife that anyways now the stray cats have come so close and i have formed kind of a relationship with them uh, please let them allow please allow them to be inside the house uh but uh, my wife is not yet uh, comfortable with having a cat so the the way i convince her is that i am like a cat so i can gel with a cat a cat uh, you know gets out at home goes everywhere but at the end comes back home uh, the cat uh, is very comfortable in its comfort zone but uh, for the sake of food or for the sake of uh, uh socializing it goes out and but it makes sure that it comes back at the end of the day uh so i i am like a cat that i am very introverted and shy but when to give to challenge myself and for to to survive in this world i do get out and i do mingle out with people but at the end of the day i need to get back to my house and to be back to my personal space so that is one thing that i uh, that i have uh, common with cats so i try to uh, convince my my wife about having a cat although she is more uh, comfortable with the dog uh, and she is more uh, ebullient about it but i will try to have uh, uh, a, a trying to have a cat at home uh, would give me comfort because a cat doesn't need constant attention and uh, it doesn't like constant attention as well uh, so that is why uh, the reasons would be that first that i am like a cat second is that cat don't need uh, attention 24/7 that would be my, my reasons over to you thank you so so much to master jen yep that was wonderful to hear bhavana one thing uh, once you give the topic you can stop sharing so that uh, you know i can spotlight ha uh, okay i'm so sorry about okay, that okay fine yeah okay uh, i was always a dog person now i'm a cat dog person good to know that you are a cat person you love having a cat at home and they need attention don't be mistaken <laughs> they need attention <laughs> all right who is next good topic relevant who would like to go for that toastmaster veena bhavna she has raised her hand all right convince your team that it is best to work from office than from home i i forgot to ask you about your preference though sorry <laughs> toastmaster veena yes yes thank you uh, toastmaster bhavna so a lovely topic and uh, right now we are in this uh oscillation between work from home and uh, uh work from office and we have to try to convince team members 
and fellow uh, team members that we have to come to office. So yeah, it's, it's spot on topic. So uh, if I can see the, uh, the topic once again, that will be great. If you can show me the topic. Can you see the screen? Best to work from office. So I have to take one, right? Work from office or from home. You have to convince your team that it is best to work from office than from home. Okay. All right. All right. So yes, uh, I think soon we have we will be starting uh, uh, going to office, but still many of our team members are rigid or they are not uh, flexible to go to uh, office as they are in their comfort zone from past two years. They think that I'm very much fine working uh, in my t-shirt and pajama and attending meetings. This is a comfortable zone and rather than traveling all the way to office, but as I am a very, uh, I am a very ambulant person uh, I love uh, meeting people. I love talking to people. And I have joined this uh, USD a few months back. So it is not giving me a very uh, uh, comfortable uh, zone to just uh, observe the team members through uh, cameras and on phone. So rather than uh, I would love to go to office, uh, just not just about talking about the office work, but uh, of course, I would like to talk about their uh, their social life. I want to know them more. I want to observe their emotions. Uh, so that is uh, how uh, I can convince my team member that yes, how uh, important it is to understand your manager or your fellow mates once you're meeting them in person. So, and many of our team members are uh, like that who want to go to office. Uh, I mean, their clothes are lying in their cupboard and then definitely they want to wear, they want to dress up, they want to get up from their chair and travel all the way to office and then have a cup of coffee and tea with the team members and in person we chit chat. So that's how I think uh, uh, I can I can convince my team members, of let's meet, uh, let's meet and uh, work together as a team. But once you have any difficulties, rather than uh, engulfing alone in a room, we can discuss uh, in person and release our stress. So that's how I think uh, I will convince my team member to work from office. Thank you, PM Bhavna. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Veena. That is wonderful. And very empathetic too, you know, the way you closed it, even if when you are convincing them to come back to office and work, uh, your empathy oozed out uh, towards the end of uh, your speech. Thank you so much for that. Over to the next one. Dash makes my day bright, coffee or tea. Volunteers. Can some guests attend? I think some guests are here. Abita, do you want to pick up? Uh, I will take co uh, coffee. Coffee, all right. Dissuade your friend from drinking coffee. You have to tell your friend why coffee is bad for their health and why they shouldn't be drinking. Okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, good afternoon, everyone. So, thank you uh, for giving me this opportunity. And uh, for coffee, like, actually, I don't like coffee. Uh, it's uh, very difficult for me to choose the coffee or tea because I don't uh, like uh, both. Uh, usually, I uh, used it to drink a milk. Whenever I go to some relative service, I just take that coffee or tea. So, <laughs> it's easy for me, I think, uh, to uh, console my friend how bad that coffee is. Uh, so, my husband have a ha habit of uh, taking uh, coffee for uh, uh, around uh, five to six coffees in a single day. So actually, uh, 
what coffee is making is like uh, uh, it makes uh, our uh, or, uh, it makes uh, whenever we take uh, coffee intake so uh, it uh, it reduces the uh, step like uh, it reduces the uh, it reduces to eat the healthy foods like uh, uh, it helps to whenever we taste the coffee uh, it it reduces the the things like uh, it stops the hungry uh, the person uh, who likes to uh, eat more uh, so whenever we take coffee that uh, affect uh, to taking the food or some kind of uh, fruits etc i i think that's a kind of um, addiction um, yeah that's it so this is how like uh, i will make uh, my friend or someone to uh, stop drink of that coffee thank you so much thank you so much avita yeah. uh, does master prakash do we have enough time to go for a couple of more table topics so today uh, is it for one one and a half hours or one hour smitha at we have it for one and a half hours yeah then we can go for maybe around 5 i guess we have time till 12:30 all right so five, uh, sorry to interrupt bhavna do we have to uh, prakash do we have to do five more or since three done right so two more correct two two more yeah. no we have i think we have uh, time for another five it's uh, the the ending meeting ending is at 12:30 we have around 30 minutes uh, left to go yeah I have only three more. <laughs> oh, okay, fine. You can finish that. Yes. <laughs> I was like, and I told mm, her five I is more than enough. I, I should take the blame. I told her five. No, that's okay. That's a little pain. I we usually have two speeches. Today we have only one speech. So, yeah, but yeah. We, we we can finish those three as well. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Who's going to get get this? Who wants to take this? Your spot for soul searching. Is it a beach or a hill station? And what would your big pick be? Toastmaster Chitra. Yes, Toastmaster Chitra. I will say beach. Beach. Promote a tour package to the sunny and sultry beaches of Kerala in May. <laughs> you can't sit at home. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, uh, thank you, Bhavna, for this opportunity. So, basically, I'm going to convince this way to everyone that. Uh, it is the best to go to uh, kerala in may because rest of india will be uh, you know struggling with hot summer and hot way, hot wave but in kerala by after up, up, uh, by mid of april you will have mango shower it's the best time to go to kerala to witness monsoon because the clouds monsoon clouds will reach uh, the bay of bengal uh, by the mid of may so you can come and uh, you can witness the arrival of monsoon to this indian subcontinent that's the best time to visit kerala you can uh, indulge in uh, a good massage because uh, once the rain start it is going to be an off, off off season in kerala so you will get better packages and if you come in may definitely i can spend more time with you because uh, it, it will be vacation for my daughter also otherwise if you come i can't spend a single time a single day with you so please come on the, during this may period and uh, we have lot of good food at this time because once this rain starts you know the food habits will change if you really want to indulge in good fish you have to come to kerala during may only okay so you i can vouch you uh, that you know day time might be a bit hot but evening will always be rainy okay you can have a rain a uh, weekend plan for a rain party okay that is something we all like to have especially to the people who always say you know kerala is a dull place but definitely we can arrange a you know a, a rain party we can arrange a rainy foggy party also if you want okay a theme based a party whatever it may be we can have and yes the crab lovers it is a right time because most of the you know um, now what do you say fish will come near the zone you can come and see that also so please welcome to kerala during this uh, may and stay closer to beaches and you will have lot of surprises thank you 
Wow, you should have been in sales and marketing department. <laughs> you sold Kerala pretty well in May. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Chitra. Who is going next? Deepi, can you help me with raised hands because I can't see that. <laughs> Oh, sure. Who's that? Uh, Anybody wants to try? We have two more. Seema, I would like to try. Is it possible a timer could try? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, I can time for you. Abhinay. Okay. Yes. All right. See. Here you go. What's your pick? Your therapy, music or books? Obviously, books. <laughs> All right. So you get to stay in your comfort zone and convince others on the therapeutic benefits of reading books. Okay. Hello, Toastmasters and guests. So you are depressed and your mind is completely foggy with more thoughts. You couldn't feel any happiness. Even though your friend is cheering, you cannot smile. You don't know why. A feel of numbness in your heart. And you want to let all your thoughts, which is pulling down, out. You need to vent out. What would you choose? I would suggest choose books. Take an awesome book which you prefer based on your journal. It might be a fantas fantasy one. It might be a thriller one. It might be a comfort book, which can help you to come out of that situation. So when you start reading a book, you'll just start immersing yourself in a world and a new world, which you didn't had a chance to live in. Your mind starts to play the whole thing. Obviously, when it starts playing, you start relieving all of the thoughts which is pulling you down. You automatically went out stuffs. So go for a book, read it, enjoy it, and come out of all the negative thoughts and happy reading. Thank you, team. Wow, that is very good. What are you reading now, Avinaya? What is your latest um, on the table? It's a uh, Catty Flint's uh, The Lost Days of Summer. Okay. Happy reading. Yeah, thank you. And thank you so much for that attempt. And it was very good. Who is going next? Last one. Any guest would like to volunteer? Yeah, Vidya, Agni. Anyone? Trust me, it's very interesting. We all are addicted to it now and you have to talk against it. Don't Most stay in your comfort zone. <laughs> Come out. Yeah, hi again, I will. Right. Uh, who's that, Vidya? Yes. OTT platforms or proper movie theaters? What is entertainment for you? Which one would you prefer? Theaters. Oh, so you, you get to speak in your comfort zone. <laughs> Explain the benefits of watching movies in a theater over watching them on OTT platforms. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Uh, first of all, yeah, theater gives us a feeling like uh, the sound effects, everything is very good. So we will, and we can relax while sitting in the theaters, especially the mothers, they can uh, sit uh, and watch full movie at home. They will get always disturbance from their kids and all. So those kind of uh, things we can avoid if we are uh, leaving our small kids in the uh, home and going to the theater. We can enjoy our day and we can enjoy that time. Also the sound effects and the efforts that um, people are um, 
putting for a film uh, that will be they will get more i mean the effort will be valuable if we go for a theater like and uh, after uh, one month or something it can be in ott or ott also but i always prefer theater that feel experience everything will be good if we go there thank you Thank you, Vidya. What is the latest that you have watched in theater? Yeah. Uh, I think Madhya. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> now, now they have opened up, so people can go out there and watch. I haven't been after COVID. I'm pretty scared to go into theaters. But you rightly said people enjoy watching things on the big screen, and even the people who have worked behind it feel very happy about. Uh, people rushing into theaters giving their feedback while coming out and all that yeah. thank you so much for that attempt with you i'm you. done with the table topics i had six i am having a remote i was from ibs and i know you oh okay i can't see your video uh, i'm so sorry i didn't recognize you okay i i i don't think you will recognize me because it's long back that 10 years back okay nice to nice to hear you and see you with you where are you now i'm at ust i UST. went to infosys then now at ust uh, very nice to meet you here with you yeah thank you thank you so much so i'm done with the table topics i had just six i know we have more time but uh, i'm so sorry about it probably we'll have more time networking after the session over to you toastmaster of the day smitha thank you toastmaster bhavna i think uh, it's not that bad we only have 27 more minutes and we do have the evaluations coming up so it's okay that was quite a, a fun session engaging table topic session and uh, it was a good twist to the usual routine that we have uh. the next part of our meeting is the most one of the most important rounds in this round uh, constructive feedback will be given to each speaker as well as to the overall meeting conduct so that members can benefit from the experience of evaluators and uh, become better speakers i now invite general evaluator uh, toastmaster deepthi uh, for providing the feedback for the participants today over to you toastmaster deepthi thank you toastmaster smita wow after a wonderful round of uh, table topics especially beautiful topics bavna where do you get these thought process uh, in making these uh, table topic a wonderful experience for all of us amazing we really enjoyed it so okay so evaluation is the portion where we get to learn how we did our speeches or our uh, you know even if we said one sentence over here what we get over here is the evaluation and that uh, by getting the evaluation we are learning we are going to improve ourselves so let's hear uh, from each one of our tag team and all but before we get into that let's hear uh, the evaluation for the beautiful speech uh, which uh, toastmaster shalini had done uh in order to just before calling to master jain musad let me just call upon the timer for uh, abhinaya uh, to give the uh, timing for the speech that was done by toastmaster shalini abhinaya ah yes sir uh, hello team so toastmaster shalini took 5 uh, minutes 37 seconds for the speech over to the oh. toastmaster thank you uh so let me welcome toastmaster jain mosad who doesn't require any introduction uh, to evaluate the speech given by toastmaster shalini over to you jain thank you toastmaster deepthi it takes courage to be honest and that is what i felt when i heard the speech because it was so honest and so transparent uh, shalini your first speech itself you opened up like a book and you laid down your emotions and what you are going through while writing your first speech it was a very open and uh, transparent speech which made the audience connect because audience also felt the same i am sure many of who have attempted their first speech might have gone through the same exercise of 
evaluating themselves of what should I speak about in my first speech. So that was a very honest and uh, uh, a transparent point that you took up in your speech. I, I like that you already have the vocabulary, you already have the confidence of speaking. Uh, I don't think there was any uh, uh, any stammering or uh, shyness when, when you presented your speech. You also had very good hand gestures which are coming very naturally. So I would ask you to continue that. You already have that confidence, just build up on that in your future speeches. Uh, you also had very good content in your speech. You had good uh, uh, prose in using words like stumped uh, 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 and you had vocal variety and you were giving emphasis on certain words when you were saying those, uh, those words. Uh, you also try to use the word of the day in your speech, given the very short time that you knew, knew about the, the word of the day. I believe the usage was not correct, but kudos to your, for your confidence in trying to attempt that uh, usage in your prepared speech. It is not mandatory, but you you tried it, so it was uh, very courageous, very bold. You had uh, notes and you were referring to the notes. Uh, so as a suggestion, what I would uh, tell you is that uh, you were losing the audience when you were looking away from the from the audience or you were looking at the notes or looking up, uh, you know, that disconnects the audience. So try to keep the audience in your, uh, in your view. The second part would be to, uh, uh, is, we, we always think of, of you know, what should I speak about? You know, who am I to speak about? This is what is known as imposter syndrome. Everybody goes through it. Everybody at any point of life, they feel, who am I to do this? What? So that feeling everybody has. And uh, you know, there will be a self-evaluation of, so uh, uh, don't analyze yourself. Uh, don't analyze your speeches. Uh, there, uh, there is no magical speech that one speech you will give and everybody say, will say wow and they change their life immediately. No, that is not the goal. The goal is to improve yourself. So any small thing uh, about your teacher, about something that you learned, any small thing could be the center of it. So try to have a center of your, of your uh, have a central subject in your speech. Uh, uh, and regarding the structure of the speech, it was good. You had this, uh, your beginning, middle and, and end. You also use quotes, so I would uh, suggest that you start from using quotes in your uh, speech. Uh, overall, a very good speech, a very honest speech, and you already have the foundations, and I would uh, like you to build upon that for your, all your future speeches. I have shared the evaluation sheet. Uh, please refer the same. Thank you. Over to you. Thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster Jayan. Okay, so now I hope you all are ready to listen to the evaluations uh, for your respective areas. So let me first call upon the timer to present her timer report on how we have done with the time. Over to you, Abneya Indra. Hello team. Um, so I have the timer report with me, so I will uh, present it. So as mentioned earlier, uh, our Shalini, uh, to our Toastmaster Shalini took five minutes, 37 seconds for her icebreaker speech. Um, Toastmaster Jayan took three minutes, 25 seconds for the evaluation. Then for the table topics. So I will be listing out the table topics. So Toastmaster Jayan took two minutes, 30 seconds. Toastmaster Veena took two minutes, 32 seconds. Toastmaster Abita took one minute, 35 seconds. Uh, Toastmaster Chitra took two minutes, eight seconds. I took uh, one minute, 29 seconds. And uh, Vidya took one minute, seven seconds. Thank you. Over to the general evaluator. Great job uh, uh, doing the timer, uh, timer role. Uh, so uh, that means there are some room for improvement for you, the timer, but uh, definitely a good job coming up and speaking and trying to do your best. Okay, now next is the R counter report by Toastmaster Veena. Over to you, Veena. Thank you, Toastmaster Deepthi. So I will start with uh, Shalini, the icebreaker. So congratulations, Shalini. It's a good start. And there was not much of a crutch word or filler, I observed. In between, pause was there. And uh, the uh, crutch word was a uh, two times. And I would, I, I would say uh, overused 
of words was there, which I will mention the words. That is particularly they two times, then I was two to three times, I would, you repeat it two to three times, actually, then a uh, two times, that I wanted. So these are the overused words which were there in your conversation rather than it was a beautiful speech. And then I'll come to, uh, I will give uh, the account uh, for all our fellow mates. So I'm really impressed by Bhavna and Smita. I wish I will, I will sometime I'll speak like them in future. So yes, I'll come to uh, Jian uh, on table topic speech. So very smooth speech. Uh, here and there, a uh, crutch word, a word that is two to three times. Most of the time I have observed a, a word that is three times, four times in your conversation, that fillers, I observed this, that's what about Jen. And then coming to uh, Abhiha. Abhiha uh, conversation was uh, good, but yes, again, the uh, crutch word, a, uh, three to four times, it, the, and the repeated words like uh, the, uh, then coming to Chitra. Uh, Chitra was uh, quite uh, fluent, but yes, again, the overuse word like not, after, and then a crutch word, a uh, three to five times. And then coming to the next uh, table topic speaker, Abhanya, she was perfect, smooth speech, very informative speech. So I, I could not find any filler or any crutch word in her conversation. Then coming to Vidya, Vidya, again, I was, she was not very audible, but yes, uh, a crutch word, a uh, three times, they two times, a uh, two to three times in her conversation. So that's what uh, about the counter from my side, uh, Dipti, Toastmaster Dipti. And I know that even I have used many times crutch and filler words while saying all that. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much for the report, Veena. Uh, definitely, we all are in the learning stage, and definitely there are uh, people whom we have we are aspiring to reach out to be like. Uh, uh, so, including me, we do. Uh, in when I started, I think I used to make like sixteen arm um, and all, so which has reduced quite a bit. So definitely, there is always a room for improvement for each one of you, and each one of us can improve. So that's the whole bottom line behind that. Uh, yes, Jen, you have something to say? Uh, yes, I have noted uh, the accounters asked in her table topic speech. Okay. Please so she, go ahead. she has used seven times asked and, and so is her crutch word. Okay. That's great, Jen. So, so see, Veena, you also have got the details. Now you can also improve on top of your uh, top of that. Thank you, Toastmaster Jen. Thank you, Toastmaster Dipti. Okay, so now it's the time, the most interesting time, uh, grammarians report. Let's see what all grammatical mistakes we have made for the day. Uh, over to you, Toastmaster Chitra. Thank you, Deepi. So first and foremost, it's my first attempt to this grammarian role and I'm very new to Toastmasters. Okay, so there will be some errors in my report, but I'm trying my level best too. So the word uh, for today was ebullient and I could see that a lot of people have used Shalini, Deepi, uh, Bhavna, Jayant, Veena. Uh, most of, I mean, many people have used this word and I'm very happy to see that. Okay, they may short notice, but you people were able to use that. For Shalini, I will say the pronunciation she need to work on, especially the social. The word is not social, it is social. So you have to use it because you know when you communicate with people, please uh, be aware of this pronunciation because most of your speech was really good. You have really worked well on your pronunciation and speech. It was very different. So it will be really great if you work on this. And another thing you said you want to be an expert. It's okay, but you used was experts. You can only be an expert and you cannot be an expert because a singular term you have to use. And there are some very good uh, usages I found that spot on from Veena and uh, fear of rejection, you know, that 
that has you have used from Mathieu Hesse, and you know, so it was really good for Charlene. It was, and uh, that's what I have recorded today because I'm a bit confused which are the words to be noted. So thank you. Thank you so much, Chitra. I, 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 you know, great job doing that uh, grammarian role for the first time. You know, it, uh, when I started, uh, even when I did the grammarian role, I, I didn't know what exactly I was doing. Uh, I was listening more, but uh, couldn't find out many, uh, many, uh, uh, you know, problems or better things and all. But then it is always, uh, always best to start off from somewhere so great job doing it okay now it's the overall evaluation time from uh, you know evaluation report from my end great it was a great collaborative meeting i want to congratulate each and everyone for making this a successful collaborative meeting kudos to all of us now, thank you, Toastmaster Smita. What a beautiful topic you have brought it. Uh, you have brought to us, and it really uh, gave us a, such a thought-provoking um, uh, feel. And uh, we, definitely, we are taking uh, taking back some insights from your session. The way you uh, gave us that uh, understanding of uh, the this topic. Now, Toastmaster Bhavna, always she is uh, giving us surprises with uh, new and new ways of doing Toastmaster table topics. So thank you, Bhavna, for that. And, uh, you know, with uh, even though she's not here, I want to really go out and thank Toastmaster Shruti. She, she really made this happen, even though she was not here. So thank you, Toastmaster Shruti, for making this happen. Uh, this session really went quite well. Uh, and uh, definitely from every session, we uh, have some learnings. And uh, as usual, we always have trouble when we are doing the planning part. Uh, so our planning as usual had flaws this time also, uh, including like, you know, coming out with post in the last minute and all but uh, uh, you know how we all are like software engineers and also uh, as working professionals we all uh, know how to uh, manage things even in the last minute so kudos to all of us for doing a brilliant job in making this meeting happen and uh, also making it a successful one thank you all uh, uh, so this uh, this is the end of my role. Over to you, Toastmaster Smitha. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Deepi and your tag team for all the wonderful feedback. Let's all take it uh, as constructive feedback and work on each of the topics or the items that were brought to us. With that, we come to the end of another wonderful Toastmaster session. I'd like to end the session by bringing up a thought again. If you want to achieve great things, then go beyond your comfort zone. Nobody ever did something great by wishing for it or just by staying in his or her comfort zone. Success lies beyond what we are comfortable in. Thank you. And uh, over to you, um, Vice President Toastmaster Deepti, since President <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, so uh, today Aarti is not there. So I'm just taking over. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, with this, I am adjourning the meeting. But uh, definitely feel free to stay back and network. Please, pro, uh, you know, guests, please do give us your feedback. We would love to hear from you all. 